Welcome back guys today we will be studying reduction formula so today we will be learning about the second standard integral of reduction formula that is cos of integration of cos to the power n x dx and number 2 that will be 0 to pi by 2 cos of n x dx so here n will be greater than 1 and it is a positive integer so let us start let jn be integral cos nx dx so we will proceed the same way we will reduce first this and this so now doing by parts taking this as first function integration of cos x is sin x and this will be minus of integration of d dx of cos n minus 1 x and integration of cos x dx whole dx now this will be cos n minus 1 x sin x plus n minus 1 this will be cos n minus 2 x sin square x dx now again cos n minus 1 x sin x plus n minus 1 cos n minus 2 x dx minus n minus 1 now we have reduced sin squared 1 minus cos squared this will be cos n x dx this and square terms gets make its n this is our j n now this will be this here is, it will be j n and it will be j of n minus 2 so it will be j n plus n minus 1 j of n that will be cos n minus 1 x sin of x plus n minus 1 j of n minus 2 so now it will be n j n that will be equals to cos inverse n minus x sin of x plus n minus 1 j of n minus 2 now j of n will be cos n minus 1 x sin of x plus n minus 1 j n minus 2 this will be upon n and this will be also upon n so this was our reduction formula now we need to calculate the limiting definite integral reduction formula so to do that we will again proceed with the same way we will now assume i n to be 0 to pi by 2 cos of n x dx and if we put the limit here we will get something like this this was n minus x sine of x upon x and this will be 0 to pi by 2 plus n minus 1 upon n this will be j of n minus 2 0 to pi by 2 this will be i n this will be again 0 0 cos pi by 2 0 and sin 0 0 plus n minus 1 upon n this will be i of n minus 2 so for the we get the formula as n minus 1 upon n i of n minus 2 this is the reduction formula for the definite part so now we need to find the value for this so to the to find the value for this we will now do something like this so we can write this as sin cos to the power n pi by 2 minus x so which will give sin of x that will be equals to sin nx and we know the value for this it will be I'm writing directly the value that was n by 2 n minus 1 by 3 5 this was 4 this will be 4 by 5 3 by 2 2 by 3 this will be 1 when n was odd and it will be n minus 1 n by 3 n minus 2 this was 1 this was n this was n minus 2 this will be n 
this will be n minus 2 n minus 5 n minus 4 this will go up to 3 by 4 1 by 2 and this was pi by 2 n even so this was the value so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up